find that you don't fit into the traditional categories of liberal or conservative. Did you take a quiz on Facebook and discover to your surprise that you're a libertarian? Maybe you think that government spending has gotten excessive and the taxes are too high. Well, if you've asked yourself any of these questions, this course is for you. This is a course on libertarianism, and it's very wide-ranging. So it gives you a sense of the history of libertarianism, the economics of libertarianism, and philosophy. Our aim is to help you understand what libertarianism is, discern whether you are in fact a libertarian, and if so, what specific kind of libertarian. Libertarianism is a political philosophy about the appropriate scope and the appropriate authority of political institutions. Libertarianism regards individual liberty as the sometimes only morally appropriate and legitimate priority for those political institutions. That entails both economic as well as social or civil individual liberties. Libertarianism takes institutions such as private property, market exchanges, uh, freedom of speech and freedom of association, uh, freedom of movement, freedom of contract, freedom to decide what to do with and to your body that ensure our economic and social freedom to be essential for an individual to decide on their own concept of living and their own concept of well-being. Libertarians endorse a number of specific policies that together will constitute what we'll call the libertarian set of policies. Now, if someone endorses all of those policies or even a majority of them, um, then regardless of why, and we'll get to that in a bit, they count as libertarians. Now, many different moral views can underwrite the set of libertarian policies. There are deontological libertarians who believe that individual liberties are important in themselves, regardless of the social consequences. There are just certain ways that you should and shouldn't treat people if you truly respect them. Uh, consequentialist libertarians, uh, even like a subset of those is uh, utilitarian consequentialists, like, uh, like our good friend uh, Dr. Chris Freiman there. I think we have very strong duties to help others. I know there are some libertarians who will disagree with me, they have false views, but nobody's perfect. Some consequentialist libertarians could also be categorized as social justice or bleeding heart libertarians. They think that a concern for the least advantaged members of society should draw us towards libertarian institutions. A civil libertarian free market society does the best job of feeding the hungry and enriching the poor. Aristotelian libertarians view libertarian institutions as the framework within which human beings can live flourishing and virtuous lives. So despite agreement on policy matters, libertarians disagree with each other about philosophical matters. Some think you have a moral obligation to pull a baby out of a puddle, even if you don't want to. There are natural rights and natural law libertarians and libertarians who believe that natural rights are nonsense on stilts. That's my own view. I think that's also Chris Freiman's view as well. There are libertarians who believe that each of us are our brother's keeper. Um, and those who think that good fences make good neighbors. Uh, Kantians, contractualists, and contractarians, and there are also pluralists about ethics, and those people are sometimes libertarians too. Throughout this course, we'll be shedding light on all aspects of libertarian philosophy, from its historical origins, to debates about the different values that can underwrite it, as well as to some contemporary examples of this view. We'll also be exploring different thought experiments and cases to illuminate some of the philosophical issues that arise within debates about libertarianism. We hope this course gives you a new understanding of and a deeper appreciation for the variety of different libertarian views, stretching from its historical roots to its modern day iterations. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about those historical roots, explaining why liberalism and libertarianism is a subset of the broader view called liberalism, why liberalism represents a different ideology in different parts of the world. Join us for that.